If there's one thing Far Cry 3 has, it's guns. A lot of guns. Sure, there are a lot of side quests and easter eggs and collectibles and... Okay, Far Cry 3 has a lot of everything. But guns are awesome, and some of them are harder to get a hold of than others. For completing various quests, challenges, and tasks, you can unlock what the game calls signature weapons from supply vendors. These are guns that you can't find anywhere else in the game. Some of them have unique customizations, and most of them pack a lot more punch than their generic counterparts. For instance, one of the first weapons you'll acquire is the Colt 1911, a 45 caliber pistol. It's a decent handgun in its own right, fairly accurate, usually kills whatever you point it at, but you can't add on any attachments. No suppressors, no scopes, night vision, grenade launchers... Okay, that last one's just kind of a pipe dream of mine, but you get the point. The only customizable option you have is to give it a new paint job, which frankly isn't that awesome. However, if you liberate 17 of the outposts scattered around the island, that's half of them, you'll unlock the Shadow Signature Weapon. It's a 1911, but with so many extras that the guys from Pimp My Ride will be jealous of it. The Shadow comes with an extended magazine, giving you an additional two rounds per clip, a reflex sight so you can line up a perfect shot, even from a distance, and most importantly, a silencer. The suppressed 45 will make you feel more like Sam Fisher than Jason Brody, allowing you to sneak into almost any base or outpost completely undetected. If a sneaking mission isn't necessarily your idea of a good time, though, try picking up the AMR Sniper Rifle. You can buy it once you've located 20 of the hidden relics scattered around the island, but the effort is worth it. This bad boy takes the already powerful Z93 50 cal rifle and cranks it up to 11, adding a high power scope, a custom paid job, and an extended mag. Now, you may say to yourself, Hey, couldn't I just add an HP scope and an X-Mag to it myself? Why, yes you could. But, the one thing that you won't get with the Z93 that only the AMR can bring is explosive rounds, baby. The bullets loaded into this scalpel of doom were designed not to only penetrate the thickest armor, including cars, steel, and heavy troopers, but they also explode on impact, meaning that this is the perfect rifle for you if you want to kill from a distance, but are a terrible shot. Or, like me, you just like explosions. There are four other signature weapons in addition to these. The Shredder, a modified Vector 45 ACP with increased damage, a silencer, and a reflex sight. The Ripper, a light machine gun complete with an optical scope and extended magazine, although this signature weapon does trade accuracy for a higher rate of fire than the standard MKG with similar attachments. Then there's the Bushman, a customized P416 also sporting an optic scope and extended clip, though the addition of a suppressor is unique to this weapon, along with the increased range as well as extra damage, perfect for close quarters or long-range firefights. Finally, there's the Bull, a heavily modified M133 shotgun. The Bull is another example of a weapon that would otherwise be uncustomizable. Increasing the mobility and range, this signature weapon is equipped with a reflex sight and extended magazine, making it ideal for hunting both animals and man alike. So there you have it, Far Cry 3's signature weapons. While most of you, myself included, have a preferred loadout already, it's worth investing the time and resources to acquire and experiment with these different and unique firearms. Each one gives you additional options to cater to your playstyle, be it a stealthy infiltration to collect some loot or a head-on assault into enemy territory. Whatever your tactical method, these powerful weapons will ensure that you always come out on top. For more on Far Cry 3 and all things gaming, keep it locked right here on IGN.